So Hershey is one of the few companies globally in the Fortune 500 which has a woman CEO. So somewhere, you know, diversity as gender <laughs> Is, uh, is, is really steeped in the way the organization functions. And we assume that, you know, uh, Gujaratis are stingy or whatever else, you know, there are these biases and you're like, that is not correct, you know. So it's just important for us to firstly be aware in order for us to kind of counter it and ensure that we provide an equal space, an equal table for everybody to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, the Managing Director for Hershey India. Can we have a huge round of applause for Keetika Mehta? Hi, good morning. Uh, and thank you to the IDF team for having me over. Um, so I don't want to give a very long uh, speech around this. I just maybe will share a little bit about the Hershey experience really and how we do, uh, you know, the uh, diversity and inclusion and maybe refer to something that Dinesh said. So Hershey is one of the few companies globally in the Fortune 500 which has a woman CEO. So somewhere, you know, diversity as gender <laughs> is, uh, is, is really steeped in the way the organization functions. And I think that's the, the starting point. If I were to bring it closer home, so of course I lead the business in Hershey, India. And my leadership team is 43% women. But that is not diversity alone. Yeah? So it's not gender. If I were to uh, actually look at the leadership team, uh, you know, so I'm from the north of the country. There is somebody from Gujarat. Uh, my CFO is from the south. You know, my sales director is from Orissa. My R&D director is from UP. And uh, my HR director is from Bhopal. So, you know, there is genuinely diversity in the way we think about, uh, you know, everything. It's not about gender alone. And sometimes I think we limit ourselves to calling diversity as gender. Uh, and then again, absolutely the unconscious bias conversation is really, really relevant because we have done trainings as well. There is this, you know, so like I was saying, my marketing director is from Gujarat and we assume that, you know, uh, Gujaratis are stingy or whatever else, you know, there are these biases and you're like, that is not correct, you know. So it's just important for us to firstly be aware in order for us to kind of counter it and ensure that we provide an equal space and equal table for everybody to speak um, and I think that's really for me an important thing and if I were to look at uh, from a gender diversity um, our head office would almost be 50% diversity now um, and now we want to actually take it to the sales teams yeah so 20 years ago when I joined uh, Unilever in sales it was you know really like very few women went in sales Unfortunately, 20 years later, there are still very few women in sales. And I think there is just so much we need to do. We just need to provide the access and the capabilities and the environment for women to thrive in sales. I mean, there, there's nothing genetically different in why women can't do it. We just don't have, and I'm sure any woman in sales would have a loose story to tell. So we'll not go down that path. But you know, there is, there is an important infrastructure that we need to provide and then we are absolutely the right environment for women to come into sales. Um, similarly manufacturing, so I have a factory in Mandideep, uh, it's in Madhya Pradesh and um, zero women, zero women in December last year Yeah, and uh, we took it up saying this year we will change that statistic. Already we have now 40 women on the shop floor. Yeah, So it's just providing that infra, that access, that safety you know, just a, a kind of a drop uh, from and to, uh, um, you know, the major city being Bhopal is important for them to kind of join the workspace. So uh, I just feel that Hershey has done great things and just maybe not to limit it to corporate alone. Uh, you know, there is this beautiful uh, word, her and she, which is invisible in Hershey, right? So uh, we actually do make the invisible visible. So we do a Hershey campaign which really talks about the unsung heroes amongst us or sheroes if uh, you want to be gender correct uh, who really don't get talked about so I don't know if any of you have seen our packs if not do uh, check it out every women's day so in the month of March we actually put unsung women sheroes on our packs yeah 
and really talk about the story. You can kind of scan the QR code and read about them. And more importantly, you can put your own Shiro at your house on a Hershey pack and send it to them with a customized message. So just to maybe um, wrap it up, I'm conscious of time that DEI is an absolutely correct thing for us to have a conversation around because if we don't frankly it's going to remain very stilted so that's important I think uh, we've done great things in corporate but it is also important for us to do it beyond the corporate and really reach consumers and impact their lives with that thank you